Hello, today we're talking, we're using the Steca or SunEarth uh, SETR0301 controller. Um, there's uh, videos available on basic operation. I'm going to go over some real quick items so you know what we're talking about. The manual that you get with the controller is here. And in that manual, it describes how to set the high limit for the tank. So it, that's the main menu. And that's involved with pressing and holding the set button. The first number you see is 140. That's the default for the, high, the tank high limit. And so that's what we're working off. We're working off today all the defaults that the control has. Um, most of those are uh, resettable. So this is the high limit for the storage tank. And then I'm going to scroll through all the other main menu items until we get to back to the normal screen. What I have now is a temperature of 89 degrees on the roof. Uh, we have the middle sensor, which is 75, which is, this is the sensors that come with the control. Um, you come, they come with two, generally you can order a third one for this position. It's a temperature monitor, so if I hold it, this is a review again, I hold it and the temperature goes up. And I'm holding, I'm warming it up, and so that temperature can be placed uh, wherever you your design uh, wants it to be outside, on the top of the tank, wherever you want, as it shows in the diagram. So that's the, the T3 position. And then T2 is the tank temperature currently now is 100 degrees. And that is the temperature T2 that is referenced when you set the max tank temperature. So the 140 you saw in the main menu is currently the max tank temperature and so so that's the basic review what we're talking about today with this controller is what's called stagnation reduction function and what it does is it helps the system stay cooler in the hot summer months so it, you don't have um, overheating or minimize overheating issues with the whole system itself the menu that we follow for that is it's called the hidden or technician's menu. It's a, it's a rather large uh, document because it has 10 potential functions you can change in the controller. But we're only dealing with uh, the last two, essentially nine, and I label them nine and 10. That's for stagnation reduction. So getting what, it do, what stagnation reduction does is it turns on and off the pump as we approach the tank's high limit. So at 140, uh, what happens is at 20 degrees below that, at 120, the pump starts turning on and off. And it, it allows the, the, the collector to go way up, and then it drops, and the pump comes back on and off until it cycles during the day, usually from one to three hours, depending on the day. Um, it will cycle until T2, the maximum tank temperature, which is defaulted at 140, will shut the tank off permanently. It'll, I mean, until it cools down, but during the day it'll shut it off. So the way we, the way this is set, um, I will go through the procedure. We have to get into the hidden menu, and uh, there's uh, other videos on that, or we're going to go through it right now. But we. We press all three buttons on the control. And we hold it for five seconds, and now you'll see the control flashing. That's the number one position, number one differential in the menu. Now I'm going to scroll down. That's number two. Is Again, you should get a copy of the hidden menu for this. That's the off differential, the hysteresis. There's an ex again, there's an explanation of all these functions in the hidden menu. Um, number four is the over temperature function and then you're going to use four and five is the off, it's the over temperature for collector function. That's, and then off is the holiday function, that's number six. Number seven is the minimum collector temperature that the collector would have to be to come on, used in colder climates usually. Uh, number eight is for freeze protection. We're not uh, generally need that unless it's open loop. Now, number nine, here we go. 
This is the stagnation reduction function. And what I have now is it's on, and you can see on with little MAX or extra in the lower um, right corner. Now I'm going to, the way you set these controllers, you press and hold set until the fun the on or off, the default, which I'm going to change it to off, and then I press it. Now that's how you would receive the control. The default would be off. So now we'll go back. I'm, we're going to turn it on. We press and hold set. It off flashes. We press the up arrow. Hold up. It's on. It's flashing. Now we want, that's what we want. We press set. So now the default, I mean, the, the stagnation function is on and it's, uh, it's, pre it's a preset. The last thing we go through in stagnation function is we'll scroll down to the last part of it and that's a, a setting of 40. That's going, I'll explain that in a minute. That's a difference that we'll be using that we leave. That's a default of 40. You can change it higher but you can't go lower. So we'll go back to on. So the, so now stag in this controller, stagnation function is on. How does that work? Now we're gonna, I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to scroll one more time, and I should get back to the main menu. So now I'm in the main menu with the stagnation function on. And just to give you an idea of what this, you know, what this does is with the, this is a chart of how the stagnation reduction function works. And the, what, what this is our, our, this is our tank, max tank temperature of 140 is the yellow line. And then the two other, the other two lines we'll use on temperature are um, the collector over temperature line, which is defaulted at 266. And then these other lines here are the the T1 max minus 40 and minus 60. Those are the two, that is the range that the pump, once the stagnation function is fully active, is going to operate under. As you can see um, here, the pump goes to, to T, uh, T1 minus 40 and the pump turns on and then it drops the temperature down to 20 degrees and turns off, then allows the collector to get hot to um, 226 actually because that's 40 minus 266. Then the pump turns on again, it drops, and then it pump turns off, collector goes up 20 degrees again, pump turns on, and that that cycle on and uh, on, off, on, off, on continues until the tank temperature, which is T2, rises to this max tank temperature, which is default at 140. So we're, this is our, de our stop point, is the max tank temperature that you've set. It's, it's set in the main menu at 140. That can be changed, but in this uh, situation that we're going to show via the control, that's what we're using. So we're using 140, that's a default, and we're using uh, back here, 266 as the collector high limit because it referenced all these. This chart is based on, and the stagnation function is based on um, the differences between the collector high limit, which is defaulted at 266 at the moment, can be changed, and the max tank temperature, which is 140 which is the default that we can change. So we'll get, now we'll go to the controller. The controller is, is set and what I show here is 100 degrees at T2 and then I'll uh, use the uh, up or down arrow, it doesn't matter. I can use a down arrow and now I'm showing 89 on my roof temperature. I'm, an, I'm going to change that. The way I have a control here on the side that I can change the temperatures. So I'm going to change 89. You can see the pump is not running. That's back in the original basic 
videos on the control. I'm going to raise the temperature. Remember now, I'm at um, 100, 100 here at the roof. Our T2, we'll go back, is still at 100. And now I'm, I'm raising it more, and the differential, the default is 16. So when I get to 116, pump turns on. So pump's running. Now we're collecting heat. And so as, we, uh, as I raise the temperature, let's say it's a really hot day, I'm going to go up, let's say, to one, 127, 128. And obviously, at the same time, what's going to happen is T2 is going to get hot. That's the way it works. They, T1 and T2 work in, in kind of unison as far as what the readings are. T2 is usually... Well, during the day, it's always higher, but not a pre, no, no more than 30 degrees on, on most days. So if it's 100 degrees, you have a problem. But, uh, so right now, now as we're heating, we're going up, and the pump's still running. Again, this is T2. And then if I switch over to our panel temperature, it's 133. So we'll go back to here. And now I'm going to bring it over there. It stopped. Why did it stop? Because I came within 8 degrees of the roof temperature. You, now you see I have 125 in the tank at the bottom. And, and this, this, this one's a reference sensor, so right now that'll vary depending on the temperature. But don't worry about T3 in this scenario. So now the roof is 133 and the storage is 126. So that's within the 8 degree off differential that's a default. And that's, again, when you get the hidden menu, the first two programs are the differential. Uh, on is 16 and off is 8. That, those are changeable, but again, we're using all the defaults. So now I will go back to the tank is at 126. I'm going to drop the tank down. Let's say there was some cold, cool water that came in to the tank and dropped it to, to, oh, there we go. So I dropped the tank to 110. It's varying a little bit. And go back to the roof, and we're at 133. So now I'm going to raise the temperature of the roof a little bit. So I'm going to bring it up to 150. That may not happen in your case, but let's just say that it got real hot. So now the roof is 153, 154. The pump is still running. The, the T2 is 105. As this is running, the tank's getting hot. No hot water is being used, so I'll raise the tank temperature, T2. Now watch what happens. Um, <coughs> excuse me, at um, 120 on the screen. We're 113, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. At 120, on the initial startup of stagnation function, the pump shuts off you see an extra flashing, it's at 121 now, uh, in the lower right. So the pump is stopped at 120. So now what happens? There's no circulation. So now we'll go, and the sun's still shining. So now, so, that's, so there's a 20 degree, that's 20 degrees below this the tank high limit, which is defaulted at 140. So that's our reference. 140 is the default. It all starts at 120. That's where the starting point is. Now we'll raise the temperature of the roof. And where we're going is the reference point on this point. The initial startup is 40 degrees less than 266. So that's 226. So now the pump's not running. The um, Collector's getting hotter and hotter. 
Again, these are the defaults. The 266, that can be lowered. That's all in design. That can be changed. That can be less. So now the collector's going to, it's getting hot up there. I suggest in some systems that that default be um, lowered. So we're um, 215, 260. So, so where are we going to be? Oh, 2, 222, 23, 24, 25, 26. There you go. So that's 40 degrees less than your over temperature high limit of 266. The pump is now started. So that's that first on those, that that loop, that graph that goes up and down, up and down. That's where we're, we, we've restarted the pump. That's off the initial startup of the stagnation function. <coughs> As the pump starts to run now, we'll go, we'll go back to the tank, and the tank will rise a little bit as heat is dump is put into the tank. I'm going to raise the temperature a little bit. Doesn't affect it. The pump's still running. So we'll go back to the to the roof and pump's still running and as the fluid is circulating, heat is being transferred to the storage. So now what I'll do is heat's being transferred to the storage. We'll drop the roof temperature because it's cooling down. It's cooling the roof. So what's this the difference here now? We started at 226. The difference now is at 206, 20 degrees. It's kind of confusing, I understand, but there's three, uh, two spreads here. Um, one's 40 and one's 20. So now we'll go, you can see the system is still running in the diagram. 20 degrees less than 226 is 206. We're getting there. 209, 8, 7, Six. It's off. So now the pump's off. So what happens? Well, the pump's off. Everything's the sun's still out. It's circulating. Um, I mean, it's not circulating now. And if we look at the tank temperature, it's at 128. So it went up, but it stopped now. So the tank won't heat anymore. Now what'll happen? It'll stop. And now the roof will go up. Where does it go up? It goes toward, now it runs within a 20 degree uh, spread. So it was 206. It might, it, and so now you go up 20 degrees to 226. That's our new, our new reference on point. On. So it comes on again at 226. It'll continue to run there. It's circulating, so it's putting, it it'll, by circulating, it's cooling the tank down. I mean, cooling the collectors down, I'm sorry. Cooling the collectors down, so now we'll, we'll turn the temp roof temperature down to, again, 20 degrees, less than 226. So we get to 206. off. And then when it's off, the diagram is not not uh, not working, the pump's not working, and you have extra flashing in the in the screen. So I'll go up again. And the other thing is it does this on and off, on and off. The, the tank temperature, T2, is our reference on this, goes up. So I'm going to raise it, but it's not, see, I'll raise it up. Let's see where we, where I hit. 133, 134. Okay, so let's say we brought it up to 134 in that scenario. We go back to, to the collector and it's gone up. It's going up again because there's no circulation. And we go up to 226. This is all based on all the defaults in the system, default numbers that, that are changeable 222, 23. 24, 25, 26, it came back on. So that's the 20 degrees from 206 to 226. It's still running. Now it's running again. 
and our tank temperature is 135. So as it runs, as the system operates, is circulating, um, the tank will go up. So I'm going to change it up a little bit, a little bit. 37, 30, okay, 138. And what's our, what's our, um, our high limit is 140. That's the default. So I'm going to bump it to 140, and we'll see what happens. This is the, this is the point where there off your your tank is the pump is off it's flashing max in the tank that's your high limit the default at 140 and the roof is is at 227 now what we'll do now let's say you think okay it's down and we've been going between 226 and 206 226 and 206 so let's see what happens we'll drop it drop the roof temperature to 206 and it should come on right all oh what happened we're down to 200 it's not coming on our pumps not working our tank temperature is flashing max the maximum is the is a is the ultimate stop point that's as fast as your uh, or fast as your car will go, go if it has a governor is 140, 140 miles an hour, or in this case it's 140 degrees Fahrenheit that your tank is operating up to. Once it hits all that, once the tank is at 140 and that's the default, then nothing happens until until the tank drops. You know, I'm covering quite a bit. The tank drops until it lowers the temperature. So. Let's say somebody uses an awful lot of hot water in the middle of the day and it drops six degrees. Okay, it dropped six degrees, but it didn't come on because it should. We're we're still we're still in stagnation mode. So what has to happen now is the roof has to go back up. I kind of lowered it by mistake. I shouldn't have lowered it. But. So we go to 226. Still in stagnation mode. That doesn't change. It's programmed. There. So even though the tank dropped during the day, then the tank dropped, but the panel went up. It's up to 226. It's uh, circulating again. And then we can drop again, drop the panel temperature down to 206. Again, 206, and it'll stop. Again, this, this process of 226, 206 pump on and off um, occurs until T, until T2 reaches... 140 and then the max shuts off everything so you're done that when the tank reaches its it's to the max now that's changed again all these are defaults all of them can be changed in the in the program so you can change differentials again this is in the hidden menu you can change um, the what's called the hysteresis that's the restart temperature once it reaches its high limit which is uh, set at six default all this is explained in the hidden menu um, it all affects the operation of the system again stagnation reduction prolongs the period between the time that the sun is the sun is shining and there's low use prolongs the period between the time the tank gets up to its max tank temperature and the pump shuts off permanently. So it can extend it from, like I say, one to three hours that the pump will turn on, off, on, off until that tank reaches its high limit and then it'll be off for good. So, you know, the 140 is the default. That's the change on that would be, <clears throat> you know, up to the installer and or the homeowner. That's, you know, that's done by agreement. Or if you're a homeowner, then you, know, you can do it as you will. So if there's any questions, please review the video again.
Um, you get a hold of the hidden menu. That's this, uh, your distributor or installer uh, should have a, a copy, can get you a copy of this, a PDF. Uh, that and, and with your manual. So you need the manual. You get this with all the controllers. Um, again, this is kind of a pictorial of what's happening. I'm going to put it, I don't know if you can see it all, but um, you know, the way this tank temperature goes up and then 20 degrees below this level, T, T, uh, T2 minus 20, the pump stops, and then it has to go all the way up to 40 degrees less than the default of 266. Again, that can be changed lower, so this drop would drop this, this curve. And then it drops 20 degrees from 266, I mean, from, two, I'm sorry, this is um, 226 here, I'm sorry, this is 226. And then down to 206, 226, 206, 226, 206. That continues on until the max tank temperature as it's climbing slowly, unless hot water is used, if it never reaches T2 uh, max tank setting, then it'll keep running within these within the stagnation reduction parameter to keep. If you use an awful lot of water, then it the stagnation reduction doesn't start working again until T2 gets to 20, 220. I mean, 120 degrees, which is 20 less than the max tank. So this is a little visual of what's happening. It may be more, it takes a little bit of time to absorb that, but that's the visual representation of what's happening. And then the vis uh, on the controller, I showed you what, what's going on. Uh, the initial startup is quite a bit of temperature rise, and then it drops, and then it goes up and down. So hopefully that helps. Thank you.